Hello there! If you want to create cool and interesting fonts for your book, from these boring fonts to these interesting fonts, then stay with me and you will figure out everything in detail. But one more thing I want to warn you. If you want to avoid any mistakes with the license and save your account, then stick with this video till the end and I will show you what you should to do. Creative Fabrica, this is the one of the best websites I like to use. There you can find a lot of different fonts, designs and any else. So in this case we are interested in fonts. So as you can see there is a more than 131,000 font. And let's go further. As you can see there is a different fonts you can use for any purpose. So for example you need some fonts for unicorn book. Yeah, Let's try to find. First choose fonts. And here you go, unicorn fonts. Choose whatever you want. Let's go back. Halloween fonts. Back to school fonts. The link to this website you will find in description below this video. So first you need to find the fonts you're interested in and then you just need to click download. So here is Canva website, click create design, for example let it be a t-shirt, no matter. And let's write down some words, add heading, let it be the book, just simple, the book. So how you can add the fonts you downloaded, click here. And as you can see, there is upload a font. And here is our files. We are interested in uh, .otf files. So back to school and upload. And click yes, upload away. Now you can find it in downloaded fonts. So here it is, uploaded fonts. And look for the back to school. There is back to school regular. Let's check the first one. As you remember, there is a few fonts in the same downloaded. As you see, there is different word style. So let's go back now, copy past it and download other back to school. Upload font. As you can see, there is back to school 2, school pencil and student. So let's check student, upload. Now let's find it. There should be a student. If there are some problems, you can find just type in. Student, student regular. And here it is, the new style. Copy past. The next one, go back, upload the font, back to school 2. Let's find it, back to school 2. Here it is. And the last one from the, this theories was school pencil. Let's find school pencil. And here it is four different fonts from one download. And before we go further, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like such kind of videos and give me a thumb button. And if you have any questions, leave them below this video and I will answer them as soon as possible. Let's go further. Here the next one, RetroScript font, some vintage style. Let's download it too. And here is this style. And don't forget, you can use upper and lower case. So for example, let's change it. Let it be only the uppercase. Let's reduce the size. Increase a little bit. So as you can see, there is uppercase. And as you saw there, using lowercase was more interesting. Vintage style. I like it more. Here's the next font you can use. And now we see three different styles. So the first one, second and the third. And there is OTF and TTF files. So you need to use OTF files. Let's check it. All names is the boulder shadows, inner shadows, shadows and uh, just boulder shadows. So you can check it by clicking here. The boulder shadow inner, the boulder shadow regular and the boulder shadow shadow. Just like it. You can change it. For this, this, change any color you want and here it is, the new graffiti style. And now I want to pay your attention about some font styles because they use very different upper and lower case. So for example there is a 
spooky Sunday font. And let's check. As you can see, the uppercase use the simple bold letters and the lowercase, if you use lowercase, you will see such icons. So let's check. Here is my design. This is the uppercase and let's check the lowercase. For this purpose, let's let it be A, B, C, D, yeah, A, B, C, D, if. And let's change it to lowercase. Click here. So now you see can just click uh, whatever letter you want a b c d e f o d r q z t and other letters you want to use in your design so just play around and you will figure out what kind of icons you can use in your design and the last one for halloween theme because the halloween is coming so let's check this is a bones halloween font and the authors that created this particular font they use only letter o with uh, upper and lower case so if we change it oh oh so everything else is the same a b c d e f and change uppercase nothing changes and as i told you at the beginning of this video i will show you a vital mistake you need to avoid because this mistake can lead you to termination of your account so listen carefully this is the reason why i use the creative fabric account so go to my profile there is my downloads and now you can see all fonts we have downloaded and as you can see there is a license key license key in front of each font we have downloaded as you remember when you publish your book on amazon you need to sign that you own all designs you created and want to publish on amazon and in this case you have this license key that you can show amazon and prove that there is a commercial license and you can use these fonts so i recommend to avoid free fonts or some free designs because sometimes it can lead to some problems with commercial license and now if you want to know how to sell more than 40 books per day i recommend watching this video there i will show you easy niche you can jump in and don't forget if you want to support my channel you can buy me a coffee on the buymeacoffee.com the link you will find in the description below this video and again wish you good luck and hope i will see you in the next video Bye-bye.